now. Uh, thank you very much. And um, I would uh, like to welcome everyone to the first meeting of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. Uh, remind everyone present to turn off your mobile phones and other electronic devices and um, to say how very pleased I am to welcome particularly uh, new members of, of Parliament to this committee. Um, you will all be aware that it's one of the endearing conventions of our committee structure that the oldest member uh, gets to um, do this first part of the meeting um, before we elect a convener. But um, we'll now move to that um, job. And, um, and before we do, though, I would invite everyone um, to declare uh, a declaration to, to have the declaration of interest, as it were. Uh, I will start. Um, I'm a, a farmer uh, and a landowner, um, and I think that's about all that I need to tell or all that I need to declare. Claire? I have no specific declaration of interest for this committee, but um, obviously I have a published interest. It will be um, published shortly by the Parliament. Uh, thank you. I don't think I have any relevant interest to declare. Thank you, Patrick. Tom? I don't think I have any relevant interest to declare. Declare? I don't think I have any relevant interest to declare. Daniel? Um, I don't know if they're particularly relevant, but in, in terms of uh, specifically on my register of interest, I'm a shareholder of two private limited companies. I'm a, a director of both of those, uh, but non-salaried and non-working, and those both relate to the, the retail sector. Uh, so just in, in, in terms of the, the broad scope of those committee, I thought it was important just to make a full declaration of that. Excellent. Thank you very much. Alexander? I don't think I have any other than to announce that I'm a councillor with Perth and Canals Council. Uh, that may have some relevance, but other than that, no. Thank you. Right. Well, that's terrific. Thank you uh, very much. Um, and so the next uh, item of business is to uh, elect a convener. Um, and you will all have a red paper too, which outlines the process. Um, you will all be aware that uh, this will be uh, a member of the SNP, as decided by uh, Parliament already. Uh, can I seek nominations uh, for that convenership, please? I Tom. nominate Claire Adamson. Thank you very much. Um, and there being no other nominations, I, um, I welcome Claire to the post of convener of this committee. Claire, Thank over you to much. you. Um, Thank you. Sit here. <laughs> Thank you very much, the, um, the committee, for um, uh, selecting me to be the convener going forward. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm struggling a bit today with my voice, so hopefully um, I'll be able to get through the meeting without too much um, problems. Um, the um, second, I, the third item of business on the agenda today is um, the choice of a deputy convener, and the Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Green Party are eligible for nomination as deputy convener. Um, I understand that um, Patrick Harvey has the no nomination of his party for the post, and I would like to nominate Patrick as deputy convener um, if the committee has agreed. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Uh, welcome. Um, Patrick to his post as Deputy Convener as well. Thank you very much. Um, the fourth item on the agenda today is a discussion of the work programme um, going forward. Um, the last committee produced a legacy paper um, which has been circulated for information to members of the committee. And we're also aware that there will be a requirement for this committee to consider um, the proposed changes to titles and remits of several mandatory committees and the pres presiding officer has written to the committee um, regarding that issue. Um, so um, what we propose is that um, we agree to hold a business planning day towards the end of summer recess at which the committee can discuss in more detail the remit and future work of the committee. Is that agreeable? Um, we'll let the clerks... Um, contact us during the summer to see if we can um, agree a date for that towards the end of August. Um, thank you. Um, and um, it would be hoped that um, we would be able to have to the Commissioner and perhaps the presiding officer take part in part of that, at least part of that day um, uh, going forward. Um, 
Is there um, any items of business that the uh, committee would wish to raise today that might be included in the business planning day? Convener, uh, just um, not not specifically in relation to our business planning day, but I'm aware that other committees are also looking to uh, schedule business planning days. Um, the committees whose remits we're going to consider, uh, I'm, I'm aware that we're being asked to consider that only in September after we come back from the, the summer recess. And I wonder if there's a way of signalling uh, to, to the committees whose remits are likely to change that that's something they can consider. I, I'm under the impression, uh, certainly you know, I'm, I'm a member of the Finance Committee, which is one of the committees uh, that's likely to have its remit expanded. And I think there's a, a, a sense that some of those committees are being constrained in the business planning that they can undertake until their remits have been changed. Is there a way that we can give a clear signal that they should be looking at the, the wider remits they expect to take on when they're looking at their work plans? Um, uh, it's a valid point. We do have a meeting um, Just before, summer um, before summer recess, so we were planning to meet on the last Thursday. Um, and that's if it's what I will do is I'll write to um, the conveners of the other committees to seek their guidance if they, they feel that that's something that we should discuss on that day. And that would give us an opportunity to perhaps um, deal with some of those issues. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Daniel, did you... Mr. Johnson, yes, I mean, sorry. I, 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 I mean, I think that it's right that we uh, discuss in more detail when we have more time, but I think um, I, I would just like to uh, register uh, my thanks to the outgoing committee for the, the legacy report they provide. I think there's a number of issues highlighted, which I think provide us with some very good pointers as to what we should be looking at in the coming months and, if not, years. Yeah. <coughs> I think um, that's a um, very val valid point. It's been a, a, a very um, successful committee of the Parliament over the the, the previous sessions and something we would want to continue in that, that work. Okay, so uh, if there's no other um, suggestions for the work programme going forward, no other comments, um, I think that we can move to close the meeting if that's acceptable. Acceptable. Right, thank you very much to the committee for the attendance today. Thank Look you. forward to working with you all in the future. Thank, thank you. you. Well done.